I'm going to teach you how to do the bongo drum. Okay, so to begin, the sounds that you need for the bongo drum include the throat bass, the rim shot, and you need to hum, so, hmm, you get the picture. In order to make the bongo drum sound effects, you need to combine those three sounds and you'll get So the first sound we're going to cover is the throat bass. And to make this sound, you start off with just a fake cough, so like a One thing to keep in mind is when you're making this sound, you actually don't use air from your lungs. Just taking a fake cough you then internalize it and just use your throat to get up. So with air, it would sound like this. <coughs> Without air, it would just be. And you really just want to focus in on your throat and you want to tighten your throat and then contract it really fast to get the. So after you get the throat bass down, you combine a humming noise, which is just simply mm, humming, except you combine it with the throat bass to get mm, mm. To do this, you do require air. And you can vary the pitch, and it sounds really nice, it sounds really bassy when you do this. So the third sound that you need to learn is the rim shot. Now this sound is critically important when learning the bongo drum. To make this sound, you want to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, like this. And then once you do that, you want to expand your tongue and then contract it. So you're not saying you're not saying the letter K, and you're also not using air. So right now, you might not be able to tell that my tongue is expanding and contracting. That is why you need to look at a mirror to see if you're doing it correctly. Okay, so the last part to this process is combining all the sounds that we just learned and making it into a bongo drum. So you take the rim shot, the throat bass, and the mm, humming. And all together you get Now this sound will take a little bit of practice, so it will take some patience. So now that you've learned how to put all these sounds together, we're going to put it into a beat. I'm going to start off slow and then do it fast. Okay, that's pretty simple. It's pretty generic. A lot of beatboxers use this. I've seen it many times. And it's really effective. It sounds really good and it sounds like you're partying up in a club. So. Just faster, it goes like this. Okay, and that's how you make the bongo drum noise. Try making your own beat with this sound, play around with it, and eventually you'll get it. You can do covers like uh, Gangnam Style, for example. Low, it sounds like this. Hey, let me know down below if this tutorial helped. And if you have any recommendations of tutorials that you'd like to see in the future, just comment down below. Now, if you haven't seen my other video on how to beatbox fast using TKs, I suggest that you check it out. It's pretty cool. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Oh yeah.